Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to be giving an overview of Microsoft Visio. This is specifically for ISDS 406 so that you can complete the homework and the project requirements using Visio. Specifically you'll need to create data flow diagrams and ER diagrams using Visio. If you're already comfortable with the software you don't have to watch this video but it does include some specific hints and tips that should help you for the specific diagrams we'll be working on in class. Visio is a diagramming tool created by Microsoft. It used to be included in the Microsoft Office suite. It's not anymore, but it is included on all campus computers, and it is freely available to all students of ISDS 406 if you would like to install it on your own machine. You can obtain it from the Microsoft DreamSpark website at www.dreamspark.com. If you have questions about DreamSpark, please contact me. Once you're at a machine with Visio installed, you can find it by opening the Start menu and typing Visio, V-I-S-I-O. Here we have Visio 2013. When you open it up, Visio gives you several different templates to start from, which is a nice feature. If you go to Categories, and then click on Software and Database, you'll see that you have several options. One of these is the Crow's Foot Database Notation, which is the best one to use for your ER diagram, your data model. And you also have, right next to it, data flow diagram. Let's start by clicking on the data flow diagram. Now we'll click create. And here we have our Visio workspace. Over on the left, we have our shapes pane, which gives you several different options of shapes that you can drag to your work area. Because we clicked the data flow diagram template, we already have a set of data flow diagram shapes available to us. Visio uses a circle instead of a rounded rectangle to represent processes, and they call external entities external interactors. And here we have the data store, which looks pretty normal. To start using them, just click and drag one over. Let's add a couple processes to our work area to start. Now if you want to type text inside your shapes, you can either double click and start typing, Let's say process one is called book a customer. Down here at the bottom, you have some zoom tools. I'll zoom in a little so you can see this a little better. The other way you can edit text is by clicking F2 on the keyboard. The data flows in Visio are a little tricky. They have these arced arrows. I don't really like those as much. So instead, I go to the Home tab, and there's a button called Connector. If you click on one shape and drag it to another, it will give you an arrow. Just like any other shape, if you click F2, you can add some text to it. I'll say Invoice. You can go back to the Pointer tool so that you can again move around and manipulate shapes. Your arrows, you can change between straight arrows, right angle connectors, curved connectors, and so forth. On any shape, if you right click, you can click Format Shape, and it will give you more options over on the right. For example, if you want to change colors or the way things look, if you do that with the arrows, you have the option to change the beginning and ending shapes of the arrows. So you can say if you don't want any arrow heads on your line, or if you want your arrow to be going the opposite way, you can change all that here in this pane. Another thing you can do in Visio is create multiple pages. What you might want to do in your homework is create a second page. If you want to put your context diagram and your level zero diagram in different pages of the same Visio file. Now, if you want to use Visio to do an ER diagram, if you want to get the preset crow's foot notation shapes, click here on More Shapes. Then again, you'll look under Software and Database. Then under Database, you'll see crow's foot. Here you'll see we have Entities and Relationships. These are probably the two main things you'll need for the homework in the project. If you have Entities, you can create a relationship between them. 
can drag the ends over to connect to your entities. And if you right click, you can change the cardinality symbols of your relationship here in the menu. You have zero or more, one or more, one and only one, and zero or one. Make sure to put your identifiers above the line. It can have this PK symbol if you want. That's fine. And the entity names go up on the top. You want to make sure when you're editing the text here that you click specifically on the text you want to edit. So if you want to change the entity name, well, when you first click on an entity, the whole thing is selected. You'll want to click on the entity name again until only that part, the blue part, is selected. Then press F2 so that you can change the entity name. If you want to see some other options uh, on your Visio diagram under more shapes, flowchart, miscellaneous flowchart shapes, they have several different standard shapes. So for example, when I'm doing a data flow diagram, I like, instead of doing circles, to use this divided process shape so then I can put my numbering on the top and the name of the process down on the bottom. On Titanium, I put a Visio file that has some standardized DFD symbols on it. You're welcome to open up that Visio file if you want and copy and paste those symbols into your homework file. I think that's about it. If you have any other questions about Visio, please feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to answer your questions.